Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. I wanted to spend the next three days having a look at some VBA um, scripting and then on the last day we'll have a look at how to have that um, script automatically load whenever we start um, AutoCAD and, and obviously linking some commands to those macros so that way there's sort of a, a shorter form of typing in those macros rather than having to, to click um, uh, you know, a whole bunch of dialogue boxes or, or something in the meantime. So in AutoCAD 2020, type in VBA man. Now, if this dialogue doesn't appear and you do get errors, and it'll, it might say that you need uh, that VBA isn't installed as part of AutoCAD, um, it, it will give you a link to download that, and I'll put that link in the description below as well. Uh, it, and once you do get it installed, so you shut down AutoCAD, install that VBA uh, add-on, add and then uh, run VBA Man, you'll get this dialog box. So from here, you can see I've already created a new one. Um, if you've already at this point, click on New, then click on VB Editor, and it will take you to this dialog box on the right here. So the commands we want, they're not linked to a form or anything like that. They're just some, some short uh, commands. So what we want to do under the ACAD project is insert a module. So this module, you can separate these into you know individual ones. So this one is just going to be a module for layers. Uh, you might have another one for blocks and for title blocks and whatever else. <clears throat> now, the routine we want to make is a public one. So I'm going to call this public sub TN02 for, um, for TechNexus layers number 02. Now, normally in, in layering, you can come in here and uh, create a new layer and call it, we'll call it TN01, uh, for example. And I might set it up to be red. Uh, and then I can come in here and say, Tech Nexus Layer Zero One. So whatever the description, the line type, the weight, you can you can customize all of that, obviously. But if if you're not savvy with AutoCAD and you don't have templates set up, then you have to do this every time. It can be a long sort of winded task. Um, learning some of these VBA macros might help you just set up set these all up automatically from a brand new template where you don't have to have these already set up as well. So if I wanted to do the second layer as a script, I can come in here in this mod layers module and then I've just called it TN02. So putting in an error handler and then clearing the error if one does appear. So just in case there is an error with anything, it's just going to resume it. So um, I guess you know you could probably take this out if you're testing it and then before you issue it to people in the company you put the error handler in but otherwise uh, again you can it's sort of you know really the choice is up to you if you want to throw it in there but that that's how you would throw in an error handler so what we want to do now is add the new layer so I, we come in here and go this drawing dot layers add and then I call it TN02 so we're adding the new layer. And now I want to make this layer the active one. So we do this drawing dot active layer is this drawing dot layers TN02. So what we're saying here is, so I'll put a comment in here first. So add the new layer name. And underneath that, we want to say, set that layer to be the active one. Okay. And then we want to play around with some of those settings for that layer. So we say this drawing dot active layer dot color equals, uh, let's make it six. Okay. And then this drawing dot active layer dot line type equals so I only have continuous loaded so you know TN02 will always be a continuous line type and then I'm going to say this drawing dot active 
layer dot description equals uh, tech nexus layer zero two. Okay, so sets the color of the layer. Just some comments that I'm going to throw in here. Sets the line type and then sets the description. Okay, so from the beginning, setting up a public routine so it can be called up from other modules. Error handler, adding the new layer name, making it active. The next line is making the active layers the color. The line type is next and then the description is next. And then we clear any errors that were in there. So few with one, two, three, four, five lines of code, we can just set up the layer uh, and, and recall that every time through a command. Now, if I want to play this, so up here in the play button, you run it. And then you can see here that the layer has been created. It's set to magenta and we call it Technicus Layer 2. Now, with the way this is run, is every time this script is run, it'll reset these over and over again. So that means that anyone within the company who decides that they want to change the layer, so if I change this back to be a green color, so some user has decided that TNO2 wants to, is, should be green, if we run this macro again, it resets it back to magenta. Okay, so that means that um, every time you put this uh, command into a, into a button here up in the menu, it'll reset itself back over again. And you can see it doesn't really take any time at all. If I change it to blue and then we run the macro again, it changes it back to magenta. Okay, so that sort of covers us for today for creating new layers. Have a play with that yourself. Um, if there's any comments, please make them in the comments section below. Uh, I will endeavor to answer them, but this is sort of, uh, this would be a good way to get you started into setting up layers for a corporate template if you want. Uh, and come Friday, I'll show you how to have this automatically load every time. Um, and then that way you don't need to, um, you know, keep loading up VBAs every time. You can have it through a menu or you can have it through um, some MNL or even Lisp files that, that let it load automatically. But we'll cover that at the end of the week. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos. And I will see you tomorrow for a little bit more programming uh, and hopefully learning something. So thanks again. See you later.